Um, it seems that a few of you are having difficulties with the organization of files. Uh, here is one page that was sent to me from somebody in the class. The problem with this one is that, well, it's got text and it's got images. However, it's not formatting because of the CSS file. And also, when it came to validating, it had some errors. So, we're going to first go to FileZilla and see exactly what's going on in this student's setup and why is it not working properly. Before I go to FileZilla, I want to look at the source code. So I'm going to right click and view the page source code. Because my first suspicion is that the CSS file is in the wrong place or it's misnamed. So, because the word styles is here, slash, that means this CSS file should be in a folder called styles. And also, it can't be named anything other than Lorraine or Shine dot CSS. That has to be the name of the CSS file. So, now that we know those two things, must be in the styles folder, and this must be the name. Why? Because that's what this person, this student put in their HTML code. Let Now, I have already logged into their account. Okay, Lorraine or Shine CSS comes up. And there's a styles folder but this is outside of it. So let's see what's going on. Look in the styles folder. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what all these things are. Because none of the pages referred to C4 main, C5 main, so forth. Do not put items on there that are unrelated. These look like they pertain to chapter 4 and chapter 5 homework assignments. Um, it's only going to cause you problems later down the road when you have so many files and you don't really know what their purpose is. So I would strongly advise that they would be removed. However, this is not my account, so I'm not going to remove them. However, I will do this. Lorraine or Shine CSS has to be moved into the styles folder. So you can just hold your left key down, drag, drop, and it's there. Now let's go back to the website and refresh the page. Look at the change. What a change. Okay, this student used Google Fonts. I am very impressed with that. You've applied what you know, the things you've learned in class, You've learned how to apply a style for the box. In this case, the style that was used was dashed. Um, the focus and hover for a link. Click here to check out a sneak peek. Well, let's see if that one works. That one's called Lorraine or Shine dash extra link dot HTML kind of a funky name but hey no judgment going on here let's look at view page source code well it also says it should be in styles folder and it should be named extra.css is that the problem again definitely is extra CSS should be moved over to styles because you said in your source code that it's going to be there. So I refresh it. And now it's not boring looking as it was. In fact, it's pretty cool. As for anything as for the validating now, that's that's the next problem this person had. When you go to validator.w3.org you can place your URL in there instead of uploading files and click check. And it tells me there are two errors. 
Okay, well, let's see how simple they are or are not. Line 2. HTML lang equals em. What language is em? I suspect that should be en for English. So that's a minor problem. That's just, that's an easy fix. So what I love about the validator, is it does tell you, it gives you a good indication of where things are. Most of you are going to have problems with this line of code. The Google fonts code, that's fine. I'm okay with that. However, it said there were only two errors, and I see two. I see this one right here in line 16. Down here on line 29, it says it's got an empty heading. What that means is H6 was started, but it didn't close. Let's check and see if that's true. Now, this was for the main page. So let's go back to the main page. View the source. So the first thing is it shows in line 2 when you're reviewing the source code. HTML lang equals em. That should be en. And h6 is open and closed, but it's empty, like it said. There's nothing in it. So just delete it. It's unnecessary. Well, let me move the files over. Let me move index to my desktop, or copy it to my to my desktop. And remember, your home page must always be named index. That was another issue that came up. Was not being named index. Didn't know why their page wasn't showing up. And bottom line, that was the problem. It was named something that represented the name of the page. But the home always has to be index. Everything else can be named something else that you come up with. So EN. And then... I move down to the H6 and I delete it. Now I'm going to take a look at the Google fonts code and make sure that everything looks right. Now it, it looks like it was just copied straight from the Google fonts um, script that they give you on their web page. Let's go file, save. Then back over here. You take this, drag it over, and it should say, do you want to overwrite? And you say yes, okay. You overwrite it. Let's go to the page here. Refresh the page. Does it change appearance? No. Okay. Well, let's click on revalidate. One error, one warning. The error is going to be the Google script most likely yes right there as I said ignore it because it is a third-party script it really is not a w3 approved coding so with this if that is your one error that's fine now for the student that this was just corrected for you need to also go and validate your second page you get corrections done on it as well. So how do you validate the CSS on a page? Well, if you recall, it's Jigsaw GI GI there. So it's what's the address of your website? And check the CSS file. And it's congratulations, your CSS file is cool. By the way, something you can do on your pages you can copy this code and put it at the bottom of your page like the bottom left and it confirms that your site is validated and it will show this link this this icon will show up on your page okay that's all thank you very much and if you need help call on me bye